Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for tough times is God said, let go of your past. Yes, I know you was abused and violated. Yes, God know what goes on. He know everything about you. Sometimes you try to hide with makeup. Sometimes you try to hide you know, by changing the color of your eyes, you know, changing the color of the things that you went. God know what you went through. Whoever hurt you, whoever did something to you, God will allow it to come out. The Bible verse that I have is Proverbs 10 and 9, and it reads, You will be safe if you always do right, but you will Get caught if you are dishonest. Be honest with God. You know, whatever you're going through, just pray and give it to him. This person that I'm talking about, you've been bruised. You've been raped. You've been messed up in your life. And you've been hiding secrets over and over. You was like, Lord, I just don't know what else to do. Why would this happen to me? Why would I be abused? Why would I be, you know, going through what I'm going through? I want you to understand that you must let your past go. Somebody hurt you bad. Somebody did something to you. And I'm talking to a person. This happened to you when you was a little girl. This happened to you when you was a little boy. You was touched by somebody in your family. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that God is healing you from past. God is, hallelujah, Shabbat, I thank you, Jesus. God is healing you from every storm, every trial every tribulation you've been in the storms you've been trying to tell people what's been going on but your family was like oh no there ain't that going on and that's the problem with a lot of families they like to lie a lot of families like to lie they like to cover up stuff some family members know what's going on they know that that, that husband was abusing people that, her, that lady know that her husband was doing stuff to her kids but they hide it. And I want you to know everything is coming out. God is going to reveal the truth. Because the Bible says the truth will set you free. You got to stop allowing people to make you scared. So what? You told the truth. That's your job. You never walk this world like you're afraid or you scared. If something don't feel right, you talk about it. I'm talking to everybody. If something happened to you at a young age, if something... If somebody did something to you, you need to speak up. You don't wait until tomorrow. You don't wait until the next day. If it's making you uncomfortable, you shouldn't be living like that because it can make you sick. You Listen, you pray it out, you give it to God, and you ask God, what should you do? Don't be walking this world and say, Lord, this person did this to me. I hate myself. Don't hate yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Ask God to give you a heart that forgive. Ask God to give you a hard deck and move on. You don't want to be stuck on your past because, listen, the past ain't doing nothing but sitting there. It's sitting there. You got to let it go and say, Lord, help me to learn how to forgive people that hurt me. Lord, Lord, help me to learn how to forgive the people that touch me inappropriate. God will help you. All you have to do is ask God for help. It's a shame because I'm going to tell you, it started at a young age that these people are touching these kids and doing things to these children. And it's very important that family members, they need to be around their kids. Mothers, you need to hold on to your daughters. Father, you need to hold on to your sons. You, that's why in every household, every family need a mother and a father. Why? Because things are going on. These kids are being touched inappropriate. And some of these adults are being touch inappropriate. It's very important that you ask God to help you with your children, help you to raise your kids and tell your kids the truth. As they get older, you need to explain to them different things about their body and let them know. Because as a parent, as an aunt or whoever, grandmother, father, grandfather, whoever, they need to know what's going on. And it ain't about being no family secret and hiding stuff. Because stuff going to come out. God going to reveal the truth. 
All I'm saying, if you were violated or, or abused, ask God to change your heart. Ask God to for, you know, forgive the things that you have done. Ask God to forgive the things that you did to somebody. Ask God to forgive the things that, you know, you went through. And just move on with your life and ask God to give you a heart to forgive people that had did things to you at a young age or adult. And I want you to know that God is changing your story. God is changing your testimony. And I want you to know you will not live like this no more. I know you're scared. I know you're afraid. Sometimes you don't want to sleep because you've been touch inappropriate and I want you to know that God is healing your body God is healing every mistake everything that had happened to you and I plead the blood of Jesus all over you today that you are free and you are healed you shall walk with the blood of Jesus all the days of your life in Jesus name don't give up but pray about all things God bless you all have a great beautiful day be encouraged